Hey everyone, in today's video I'm gonna be decluttering my lipsticks, lip glosses and all my other lip products. I have a lot of older lip products in my collection and it's time to go. I don't use them anymore and it just clutters up my collection. So I really want to go through all my lip products and really decide what I'm still gonna use and what I'm gonna get rid of. This declutter is probably gonna be quite cutthroat and I'm really gonna do my best to curate my collection a lot more. So I hope you enjoy the video. My name is Mark and I love filming videos about makeup here on YouTube. I love talking about different brands, different products. I love doing looks, swatches, reviews. So if that sounds good to you, then don't forget to subscribe and let's get into the video. Hello, welcome to my lipsticks. These are all my lipsticks. I used to have a lot more, but I already decluttered a lot of them. I used to have like three of these baskets completely full and then some. I also have my lip glosses here. So I want to go through all my bullet lipsticks, liquid lipsticks, and also my lip glosses and really see what I want to keep. So I think I'm just going to start with all the things that aren't in such a basket right now and go through them first. I have this pink basket and this is what I'm going to put all the decluttered products in. Let me just put these to the side. So these are all products that I just grabbed from somewhere. Some are in my shop, my stash. And some I already kind of decluttered, but I wasn't sure about them just yet. I wasn't ready to really throw them out just yet. I think most of the products that I'm gonna declutter today, I'm probably just gonna throw them away because they are quite old, a little bit too old to really give them to someone else. So let's start with these NYX lipsticks. I have two here. They are from the Suede line. Suede? I'm not really sure how you pronounce that, but it's like this soft matte kind of product. This one is called Lavender Lace. And it's kind of like this muted lilac undertone. It's a little bit darker on the lips than it looks like in the bullet. It's a little bit grungy and quite cool toned. And then I have this one. This one is called Brunch me and this one is a lot more warm toned it's quite peachy and quite bright on the lips it kind of leans orange i'm not entirely sure what to do with these lipsticks because i do really like the formula but i just feel like these shades aren't completely for me this one is a little bit too muted and this one is a little bit too orange i personally like a little bit more of a cool tone shade that isn't too grungy on myself I think that looks best with my skin tone. I think I'm gonna declutter brunch me for sure. I don't think I'm really gonna be wearing this one. And this one called Lavender and Lace, I'm just not really sure about. It looked a little bit dark, I remember when I wore it, but maybe I can find a use for it. Maybe there is a look that I can actually use this with. I think if I use the right eyeshadow, this might work for me. So I think I'm just gonna put it in the maybe pile for now and then decide later on. I moved the camera a little bit. I hope you can see it well. It's a bit hard for me to see if it's really like in focus and you can really see what I'm doing. It's a bit of a surprise when I start editing, then I will see if everything came out right. Then I have some more NYX liquid lipsticks. These are actually in my shop, my stash. They, these are from the Slip Tees line. I have one that's a lot more peachy and one that's more on the cool toned, grungy side. And this one is called Motel Dreams. They have quite an interesting wand. It's like this hourglass kind of. And the formula is quite thick. It's really creamy. This one is called Decadent. I do actually really like this one. Although the formula isn't like my absolute favorite. I do like this color on me. And it stays on quite well. I just have to be careful when applying this one. Looking at this, it's like I have these shades in another formula. This one is even a bit more darker than this one. And this one, on my lips, I feel like it's more nude than this one. I think I'm going to be keeping decadent for sure. Because I just really like wearing this one. This one I wore the other day and it just started bleeding right away so it went out of my lip line and i only wore it for like five minutes this is kind of unwearable for me even if i would just keep it to take some photos for instagram even then it's like not a very useful product because when i wear it five minutes and i do nothing special and it already looks kind of weird that's not something i can really use so i'm gonna declutter this one let me just wipe off the lipsticks 
so we can continue swatching. Then I have these two L'Oreal Le Chocolat liquid lipsticks and I'm not gonna be swatching these because they won't come off my arm I'm sure. These are so long lasting but they are also really sticky and drying. It's just not the best formula I think. It's nice that it stays on so well you can eat almost anything with this but it's just I don't grab for it if it's such an uncomfortable formula it just gives me this really uncomfortable feeling like those 24 hour long wear lipsticks I think they were by Maybelline or something that had this one side that was this liquid that dried up really sticky and really dry and then you had the balm to put on top of it this makes me think of that so I have the shade box of chocolates and I have the shade candy man I think I'm gonna declutter box of chocolates for sure because this is just not a shade that I really need in my collection. This is not something I'm really gonna wear a lot. And this one, it kind of already separated but I haven't had it for such a long time I think. I kind of want to try this one more time and see if I can maybe use a gloss on top if that would work otherwise I'm gonna declutter it anyway so I'm gonna be keeping this one for now. Then I have this lipstick. This is like a true red Really long lasting lipstick by L'Oreal. It's a little bit on the cool tone side. It looks a little bit more cool toned in the swatch than in the bullet. This was really a nice formula actually. It stayed on really well. It was quite a nice color. But it's a little bit of a bright red and I don't feel like I really use that. I think it would be better if I would buy another red shade that's really my perfect color and then also have like a new lipstick that isn't as old as this one. I just feel like I kind of have to go on the hunt for lipsticks that I don't have for like the holes in my collection and then buy some extra lip products because I feel like after this declutter I'm gonna be lacking a lot of colors. There are gonna be a lot of colors that I don't have anymore. So this one I'm gonna get rid of but I think I need to buy a replacement at some point. I also don't think they sell this anymore. It was from the collection exclusive and this was the Blake shade. Then I have two Catrice limited edition lipsticks. One is called Rustic Red. And this one is a really shiny, really dark red lipstick. It has kind of a purple undertone. And it's really shiny and not completely opaque. And then this one is called Fleur du Soir. And this one is a similar shade. But this one is a lot more wearable, I can see. I don't mean the shade, but I mean the formula. Because this one is more opaque and more matte. I think I'm gonna give this one another try. But I don't think I'm gonna reach for that one. So I'm gonna keep the more matte one. And I'm gonna throw out the more shiny red. I just feel like when I wear a dark red lipstick, I want it to stay on. I don't want it to get on my teeth. So I'd rather have a matte lipstick and not have such a shiny one. Then I have this lipstick by Kiko. This was for my limited edition. This is kind of a creamy red as well. This one is a bit more bright and a little bit more pink. It's actually quite similar to the Blake L'Oreal lipstick. It looks quite creamy but I know that this formula stays on very well. It dries down kind of but it stays creamy but then it doesn't come off easily. You can still eat and talk and nothing really happens. So maybe I can keep this one for now so that I have a cool toned red in my collection. That Kiko one has such a good formula. I really enjoy it. Maybe I'm gonna check out some more Kiko limited edition lipsticks and see if there's something there for me that I would like to try. So I have this Catrice lipstick. It is the Demi Matte lipstick in number 100. It's like a light pinky nude it's quite cool toned it's a bit light for me in the summer but i like wearing this in the winter it's quite an interesting shade and i think i can also get away with this in the winter if i use a lip liner so i'm going to be keeping this one i really like this formula it's really comfortable then i have two mac lipsticks one is called mare this is my favorite lipstick i already talked about this one in a few videos this one is a bit more on the pink side it's a little bit darker than this one so i can just wear this with any look basically i just can wear this anytime i can wear this in summer and winter i really like this formula and this color and it's getting a little bit old but i'm gonna try and use it up as much as I can this year and then probably buy a new one. So I'm keeping that one. Then I have this one. This one is called Creme de la Femme. It's like a cool toned frosty lipstick. It's quite an interesting shade. This one is in my shop my stash as well as this one. It's a bit frosty but it doesn't look too metallic on the lips. I also like combining these. 
I'm gonna be keeping this one because I really like this shade in its formula. Usually I'm not that into glittery lipsticks, but I think this one still looks very nice. Then I have this NYX lingerie gloss and this one is in the color spirit. It's a nice peachy gloss. I really like this formula. It's quite creamy and quite shiny. It doesn't look the best when you apply it at first but then when you've worn it for like a minute or two it kind of settles into the lips and then it looks a lot better. I really like this color and it's just like an effortless lip look. It's not too sticky but it's also not this kind of balmy lip gloss. I do really like this one so I'm gonna be keeping that one. Then I have four Sephora liquid lips. I have a lot more. I'm gonna show them in a sec. Um, I have a lot of pinky liquid lipsticks from Sephora but I just really love this kind of tone and I really love this formula so probably I'm not gonna get rid of a lot. But this one was a little bit of a weird one. This is kind of like a metallic formula and it didn't look as opaque on the lips. It was a little bit of a weird shade. I'm not really sure what I want to do with this one. It's been a while since I've worn it and I usually really like the Sephora liquid lipstick formula but this one just looked a little bit odd on the lips because it had this metallic finish. It just looked a little bit uneven I felt like. So I think I'm just gonna get rid of this one because it's probably not gonna be any better if I wear it again and when I have this idea in my mind like that didn't look good I'm probably not gonna reach for it so I'm gonna get rid of this one. Then I have this one. This is 81. They don't have the names on them. They just have the numbers on them. And this one is a really nice mauve tone. I really like this color. This is just a color I can wear any day, anytime. I love this one. It's not too dark, not too grungy. It has a little hint of warmth in it and I really appreciate that. Then I have this one. This one is a little bit brighter. I did break the packaging so I might not be able to swatch it today but it's like this cool toned pink shade and I really enjoy the shade because it's not too bright but it still is kind of like a pop of color. Let me see if I can get this one open. It's broken look. I have to glue that one time. So this is the shade. I really love this one. I'm kind of heartbroken that my favorite shade has the broken packaging because this didn't happen with any other of, of the Sephora lipstick packaging. So that's that one. And then I have this liquid lipstick in the shade 84. This one is a rosy tone that is a lot more warm but I really like this one. It just has this hint of pink in it so it isn't too orange on me. It also looks a little bit reddish when I wear this. It's like a soft red. Okay so let's move on to the first basket. I'm just gonna take everything out I think. So I have a lot of the Colourpop satin liquid lipsticks. They discontinued these and these aren't available anymore and I'm pretty sad about that but I got a lot of them when they were still available because I think this formula is just really comfortable, really nice. But I was just thinking I always keep them in the box because it protects the packaging because the packaging isn't the best. The print that's on there it just wears off really easily but I think I should get them out of the packaging because then I will wear them more often because now I can't really see what the shades are and I have a lot of kind of similar nudie shades so I think it would be easier so the first one I have here is called Calypso and this is kind of like a warm rosy nude it's a little bit more brown than that Sephora shade that's that one over there so I think I'm going to be keeping most of these, but I just have to wear them a little bit more. The next one is called November. This is also quite a bright, pinky, warm shade. It's quite a nice color, but it is quite bright on me, even though it looks quite nude. Keeping that one. Then I have this shade called Point Zero. This is such an interesting shade because it's so cool toned and brown like but it still looks very flattering because it's not too purple and I haven't really found anything that looked like this so far and I would actually like to have an alternative for when I run out of this one because it's just such an interesting shade I really like this one I don't wear it a lot because it's just a little bit of a scary color but when I wear it I do think it looks nice then I have the shade Barracuda this is kind of like a dark rosy shade it has some more brown in it it's a really nice shade actually I like wearing this one. Then I have the shade 951. This is kind of more of a neutral undertone nude and it's a little bit darker. It has a slight rosiness in it but it's not too pink. That's why I really like this one. 
Then I have this one. This one is called Dreamy. This is kind of a muted orange shade. I don't wear this types of shades a lot, but it is quite nice to have in my collection because sometimes I just want something a little bit more peachy. Depends on the eyeshadow look I'm going for. Then I have this one called Dopey. This is a bit of a muted pinky purple nude. It's a little bit dark on me, but I do like having a shade like this. This is like the darkest I will go when it comes to like those grungy, purplish, pinkish nudes. Because this looks quite light on my arm, but when I wear it on the lips with my skin tone and my eye color and hair color and everything, it looks quite dark. Then I have this one. This one is called Wish. And this is kind of like a warm brownie nude. This is not something I will wear a lot. But I do like having this in my collection. So I'm going to be keeping this one. Then I have this shade called Echo Park. This is also a nude that has a little bit of a peachy rosy undertone. I really like this one. This is something I could wear really often. It just has a slight hint of rosiness and peachiness in it without being a really warm. Then I have this one called Alyssa. This one is also kind of a brighter pinky nude nude it's quite cool tone it's quite nice i've worn this one quite a lot definitely gonna be keeping this one and i should wear this one more often there was a time that i wore this one a lot and i really liked it so the last one is called frick and frack this is one of the older ones in my collection but i'm still gonna be keeping it this one is also a little bit of a darker one it's on the dark vampy side for me when i wear it but i do like the undertone of this one so i like wearing this one sorry for all the staining on my arm i can't really get it off right now so then i have these three nabla dreamy creamy liquid lipsticks i'm gonna keep all three i really love this formula i really love these colors and i just got them they're quite new in my collection so this one is eve the peachy one that's eve this one is vicious it's a true red that's a little bit on the darker side and this one is hedonist it's quite a light beigey nude i think i might actually like the nabla dreamy creamy formula a bit more than the satin formula by colourpop but they don't have a lot of shades in this so that's why i'm still keeping the colourpop ones then i have this nabla lip gloss in stardust radio this is like a warm light red with gold shimmer. I really like to wear this in summer. It's a really nice lip gloss shade. I hope you can kind of see it there. Also really like this formula. Then I have a bunch of these Jeffree Star liquid lipsticks still in my collection. I don't really support him anymore on my channel. I don't really like advertising his products. Well, I didn't have a channel of course before when I did still buy his products, but I've just decided when I started this channel, I'm not really going to be talking about them but i also didn't really want to throw anything away because i paid for that with my own money so i was like i'm just gonna keep it but not really show it on my instagram or my youtube but i've decided that i want to get rid of most of these and that's just because i've always hated this formula i've always thought it was really drying and didn't look flattering on the lips it kind of had that butthole effect on the lips and then also it was just really drying and not really comfortable. So this one is called Baby Daddy. It's like a light neutral beige. A little bit on the on the maybe cool toned side with a little bit of yellow in there. I tried it I think last week and I really didn't like the look of this. So I'm gonna get it. I'm just gonna get rid of this. I don't know why I bought so many of his liquid lipsticks because I realized quite early on that I didn't like his formula but I just felt like there was something special about them or the colors were just so special and I still, still felt like I needed it but I didn't. I just shouldn't do anything like this anymore. I shouldn't have gone for these colors. Shouldn't have listened to him because this formula just isn't great. It's kind of terrible. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Then I have this one in Nathan. This is a peachy shade. But I feel like I have something like this in my collection. Before I kept it because I felt like it was a special color. But I have colors like this. And I don't wear it a lot. So I'm going to get rid of that one. Then I have this one in the shade Allegedly. It's kind of like a warm rosy tone. I also thought this was such a special shade back in the day. But in the end I have things like this. And I don't need it in this formula that i don't like so i'm gonna get rid of that one then i have this one called pumpkin pie i don't understand why i got this one it's like this orangey burnt orange shade but it's really 
leaning on the yellow orange side so this is not my shade at all because i'm more cool toned and it has gold shimmer in it which i thought i would like but i didn't wore it once never wore it again gonna get rid of this i just like the idea of this of wearing this around halloween but don't buy things for that one special day you're not gonna wear it a lot don't buy things for the one day in the year you're gonna wear it. I really regret buying this, shouldn't have bought it. Just buy things that you're gonna wear more often that are really your style. Don't buy things just for the idea of them. This one as well. <laughs> this one as well. I really like the idea of a lilac -y lipstick and that's why I bought it, but this is just not wearable for me. I need something that has a little bit more pink in it or just a little bit more of a neutral undertone. This is such a bright lilac. I'm never gonna wear this. I wore this like two times and I didn't like it. So no, this is just something I shouldn't have bought. I have to say this one I did really like. There was something about the formula of this one that I did enjoy, but it is getting a little bit older. Oh, this one is so dried out. It is so dry. That's crazy. Oh my god, it's like a really dried up moussey consistency. I've never had this with a liquid lipstick actually. So that one is unusable. I think I'm gonna keep this one for now, but I have a good reason. I wanna keep it to compare it to other shades because I did really like this shade of pink. So I think I just wanna see if I have something else like this in my collection. And otherwise I'm gonna see if I can find a dupe for this. So I'm gonna throw it out i'm not gonna use it anymore but i'm gonna throw it out when i have something similar because i do really like this type of shade but this is pretty crazy this is unusable the skin on my arm really hates me right now <laughs> this looks terrible i'm so sorry i just can't really get rid of it completely right now and i'm just gonna swatch over it so i have this kiko lipstick from that same limited edition of the lipstick that i showed before this one is in 05 and this one is a bit of a pinky red shade like a pink with a red undertone so i don't know if i would really use it a lot maybe it's a little bit too bright mm, i think i don't think this is really something i'm gonna be reaching for it's just in the middle of what i like i would like something a bit lighter or something that's darker and a little bit more vampy so i'm gonna get rid of this one then I have this limited, ed limited edition Kiko Tuscan Sunshine lipstick. This is a shiny lipstick. And this is a really nice nude shade and a really nice shiny formula. I really enjoy this one, so I'm keeping this one. So I have a bunch of Sephora liquid lipsticks. That was the last that was in this basket. I'm just going to put everything that I just kept in this basket for now. I'm going to fix this later because it's so hard to put things in a basket, to put lipsticks in a basket when there's not enough. They keep falling over, so I'm just going to leave this here for now i'm just gonna take the sephora liquid lipsticks i have a lot of these i really love this formula i really think it's quite comfortable they have nice shades and it isn't too drying they stay on very well they aren't really like that moussey formula but they also aren't that liquidy it's somewhere in between and i just put lipstick on my table so i'm just gonna take out some similar shades and then swatch them together this looks pretty bad this looks like i have six of the same lipstick i don't know i don't know what happened here so this one is 72 this one is 33 this is a lot lighter and more cool toned this one is 39 this one is a lot more brown and quite cool toned but it's not purpley this one is 40 a bit similar to this one but it's darker this one is 21 and this one is 23 this one is a bit darker and it has some rosiness to it it's quite cool toned it has some more rosiness than this one, I would say, but they are quite a similar tone. And this one is a little bit darker. So I'm actually going to be keeping all of them, except for this one. This one is just a little bit too purpley and too grungy on the lips. I'm not really going to be wearing something like this, so I'm going to get rid of this one. So I have some pinky shades here. This one is called 38. This one looks a little bit similar to the Jeffree Star one, but I feel like the Jeffree Star one just has a little bit more red in it. This one is 85. It's quite a nice rosy tone. It has some peachiness in it. This one is 13. It's a nice mauve muted shade. This one is 87. It's a little bit darker. It's a little bit on the purpley side, but it still is quite nude. I think I could get away with this as a kind of a nude shade. Then this one is 
57 and this is quite a bright pink on the cool toned side then we have some warm shade this one is 41 i really like this one it's kind of like a muted rosewood shade it looks quite red when i wear it this one is 25 i already know without looking because this is a really burnt orange shade but it's just dark enough so that it doesn't look too bright orange on me it looks quite red on me i really love this one if you are thinking about trying the sephora liquid lipsticks try this one maybe this one is a great shade, really special. It's not a shade that you find in every formula or in every brand. This one is 70. This is kind of like a rosy peachy shade. It's a bit on the light side. I can't always wear it. It kind of depends on the look. Then I have some more purpley shades. These lipsticks keep rolling away. This one is 83. It's like a purpley nude. It looks quite purple next to this, but you can kind of wear it as a nude. It kind of depends on your look. This one is 37. This is kind of like a grungy purple. It's a little bit softer than the 21 shade I just decluttered. This one is 24. Some people I think can get away with this as a more of a neutral dark nude shade but on me it's quite a vampy color and this is i think the mo my most favorite purple in my collection this one is 35 and i really like wearing this actually i haven't worn it in a while but it's quite an interesting purple color because it has a little bit of pink and a little bit of mauve in it kind of it's kind of muted and it doesn't look too bright so those were all my sephora liquid lipsticks i already knew i wasn't gonna declutter a lot of them because they are just my favorite now I have one box left. I'm just gonna grab some lipsticks. So let's start here. This is a NYX Liquid Lip Cream, Soft Matte Lip Cream. This one doesn't have a name on it because this came in a set. But this is kind of a nice cool toned shade. I like wearing this one when I want just a little bit of a hint of cool tone to my lips. But I don't want it to be too opaque. And I want it to wear well because this wears off really well. It doesn't look crazy when it wears off. But it still stays on because it does dry down. So I'm keeping that one. Then I have this one. This one is quite old. This used to be my favorite actually. This is from the Primark. I don't actually know if this one is still good. This used to be like my top top favorite. I used to wear this so much. It doesn't smell the best, but I don't know if it smelled like this before or not. The consistency seems fine. I just don't really know about this one. I don't know if I'm gonna be reaching for this one because it's a little bit old, but it seems fine. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile for now. Then I have this one. This is also from Primark. It's like a cool toned nude it's a little bit on the lilac side i'm not entirely sure about keeping this one i feel like i have some shades that are kind of similar this one i don't know if they might be too similar this one is a little bit more peachy i feel i think they are quite similar right this one is just a, this just has a hint a hint of purple in it maybe i should just keep this one and then get rid of that one this shade would also be a little bit more wearable and it's already quite cool toned and a little bit lilac i think i'm gonna declutter this one and keep this one because this is not a shade that i wear a whole ton so then i don't really need two of them right so i'm gonna throw out this one then i have this mac lipstick this one is called a la plus or a la plage. This is such a nice shade. It's such a cool shimmery kind of see-through color that you can really wear so nicely with a lip liner. It's not too frosty. I really like this one and I'm gonna keep it. Then I have the Fenty Gloss Balm. I don't love this formula. It's fine. But according to me it's kind of overhyped. I don't like the scent. It gives me a weird taste in my mouth i do like the look of it but it's uncomfortable for me to wear i'm still gonna keep it because i like to keep it for reference and i do wear it from time to time and i paid quite a lot of money for it for, for a lip gloss i don't spend that money on lip gloss on a lip gloss usually i think you all know what this looks like but let me swatch it real quick it's kind of like this peachy mauve shade then i have this catrice liquid lip balm this doesn't have a lot of color to it it's quite comfortable i do like to use this as a lip balm. I've used it quite a lot. Gonna be keeping that one. I have this Atos lip color in 
fudge. It's kind of like a light peachy nude. I don't know if I need to keep this one, but because I didn't love it when I wore it, I think I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile. It's just a little bit of a hard shade for me to wear because it's kind of like this light peachy shade. I think I would rather wear this to get that effect with the lip liner and then I can also kind of manipulate the color. I think I'm just gonna swatch this one next to it and see if maybe these are similar. I think they're quite similar except this one is a little bit darker. Yes. I think I'd rather keep this one than this one so I'm gonna get rid of that April's lipstick right now and I'm gonna see if I'm gonna keep this one so that's gonna be in the maybe pile. Then I have this other Atos lipstick. This one is called Pretty, Pretty Liar. It's like this kind of pinky berry nude. I'm gonna be keeping that one. Then I have this Catrice Satin Full Satin Lipstick in 040. This is kind of like a brownie warm nude. It's a little bit darker than this one once again. I'm gonna be keeping this one. I recently got this. Then I have this Sof X Revolution Lipstick in the shade Cake. I got this for free with an order. This one is quite a nice nude shade. It is a little bit creamy though. So I'm not entirely sure if I want to keep it in the end. But I'm going to see if I can use this maybe by patting it a little bit more. And not making it fully opaque so it's a little bit less creamy. I'm just going to try it a bit more before I'm going to declutter this one. But it definitely is on the chopping block. Then I have this NYX lingerie gloss in the shade Honeymoon. This is a lot more cool tone than the other one. I really like the shade. I'm gonna be keeping this one. It's a nice nude with a bit of a lilac -y undertone. Then I have this matte MAC lipstick in the shade Pink Plate. I feel like this one is a little bit dry and a little bit doggy. I'm not entirely sure about this one because I do like it on the lips. I like the color but I don't really like how dry it looks. It's kind of on the dry side actually. I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile for now. I'm just not sure about this one. Then I have the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream and this one also doesn't have a shade on it because it came in a set. And this is a bit similar to that one actually. It's quite a nice light pink shade and it's a little bit more see-through. This one I'm gonna keep for sure. Then I have this Matte 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 Lipstick by Essence in 07. I don't know if they sell this anymore but it's a nice berry shade and I'm gonna be keeping this one. Then I have a, this Ultimate Stay Floral Coral Lipstick. This is a warm pink. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. This one is a bit too old I think. But it was a really nice shade. Then I have this H&M Lipstick in Straw Strawberry Mochi. And this is like a peach with a little bit of a pinky undertone. It's also a little bit on the dry side, I have to say. But it also doesn't swatch the best right now because my arm is a bit wet from wiping away all the swatches. I'm gonna be keeping this for now, but I don't know if this is like my favorite. Then I just wanted to compare these two lip glosses. This one is newer to me. I got this quite recently. It's a peachy glass with shimmer in it. It's quite a nice hydrating formula. And this one is a bit older. I should actually declutter this one but it's just so hard to say goodbye because it's such a nice shade. It does still smell good. It still smells like nice and fruity. I don't think they are too similar. I think I'm gonna be keeping them both for now but maybe I wanna buy like a replacement for this one if I can still find this lip gloss somewhere. Then I have this Vivid Hot Lacquer from Maybelline. It's quite a nice, really opaque lip gloss. It stays on quite well. It's a little bit on the sticky side, but I love the color and the formula of this one. And I quite like wearing this one, so I'm gonna be keeping that one. This is another Atos lipstick. This one is also one of my favorites. It's kind of similar to Mare. It's kind of like a dupe for it. Maybe it's a little bit brighter than that one. I love wearing this one. It's just an effortless shade for me. Then I have this Kiko lipstick in the shade 04. Stay here, please. This one is kind of like a warmer red. I actually kind of like this shade. It's quite nice. I'm, I think I'm going to be keeping this one. I'm trying to go through everything a little bit faster because this is taking a lot longer than I actually expected. And I'm also swatching everything. So next time I have to remember that I shouldn't talk about the first lipsticks like way too long and just go through it a little bit faster. So this one is called Budapest. It's by NYX. It's a soft matte lip cream. It's a little bit of a darker shade. I think this is not something I'm really gonna wear. I think if I'm gonna wear a shade like this, it's probably 
something a little bit more opaque. I think I'm gonna get rid of this one. Then I have this one. It's called Rome. It's a soft matte metallic lip cream. I used to be so into metallics, but I don't think... I'm, I'm not really anymore. It's not really something I want to have in my collection, but I do really like the swatch of this one. I might want to try it one more time. It's not too extremely shiny, actually. I think I'm going to put this in the maybe pile and see if I'm maybe going to wear it again. I don't I'm not really sure about this one I like the swatch I like the idea of it but am I really gonna wear it I'm gonna put it in the maybe pile for now then I have this one this is Rome but this is the non-metallic version I think I'm gonna keep this one for now also because this type of formula is quite nice under a mask although I'm not really wearing lip products on the masks right now maybe I will in the future so that's why I'm gonna be keeping this one for now then I have this matte D for, D for danger lipstick this is a very nice red shade it has a little bit of a pink undertone and it's a little bit darker i really love this color so i'm keeping this one so let's see i have another of the kiko lipsticks this one is in the shade 01 as you can tell i really love this formula and i just grabbed a bunch of shades this is a really nice nude kind of peachy kind of pink i'm gonna keep this one let me put this away this is one of the favorites in my collection and i should use it more this one is Velvet Teddy by MAC. This is a mini. I don't love this shade on me. I feel like it pulls a little bit too brown. And I feel like I already have shades like this in my collection. I think I'm going to put it in a maybe pile. It's just so hard for me to declutter MAC lipsticks because they're a little bit more expensive. Then I have this Essence lipstick in Don't Stop the Nude. This is a little bit of a brownie shade. And it's quite a neutral brown. It's quite a nice formula. I'm going to be keeping this one, but I should use it more otherwise i think i'm gonna declutter it in the near future then i have this essence semi shine 103 it's the shade why not it's quite a bright pink my card was full so i don't know exactly where i was but i was talking about the semi shine lipstick it's a little bit of a bright pink shiny lipstick i think i'm just gonna keep it for now and see if i will wear it in the spring then i have this ultimate stay Catrice lipstick it's in don't worry be buried this one is so old it's actually so old it still looks good but i think it's just time to go it's getting too old to really put on my lips anymore and i think catrice probably has something similar in their collection right now i just have to check it out then i have this kiko lipstick can you go away hair then i have this kiko lipstick this is a really interesting kind of gray lipstick that has a purple undertone i don't think i'm ever gonna wear this again i'm gonna throw this away i did really used to wear shades like this that was an interesting time this one is a shade budapest in the metallic formula i don't think i'm gonna be keeping this one if i'm gonna keep any i'm gonna keep the other one so i'm gonna throw this out then I have this MAC lipstick in the shade Up The Amp. This is a purple color. I haven't worn this a lot, but it's quite a nice shade. I think I'm going to try to use this a little bit more because it's quite a wearable purple. It has quite a lot of pink in it and it isn't too dark. This is a MAC Viva Glam 3 lipstick and this one is in a brown red shade i don't think i'm actually gonna be using this color i have things that are similar but are just a little bit different in tone that i would prefer over this one so i think i'm gonna get rid of this one it's also a little bit too dry and then the edges of the lipstick on the lip always looks it looks a bit weird so i'm gonna get rid of this one then i have this matte 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 essence lipstick in 02 this is a really nice nude lipstick i really love the tone of this one i'm gonna be keeping this one then i have this mini over liquid lipstick this is not like the perfect tone for me it's a bit dark and warm but this was my first encounter with the liquid lipstick formula by ofra and this is the only way i can kind of know what their formula is so i think i'm gonna be keeping this for now just for reference. Then I have the shade called Penny Red from H&M. This one is a little bit similar to that MAC lipstick. But it's a little bit more wearable for me. Because it's just a little bit lighter. I hope you can kind of see it there. That one is the H&M lipstick. And this one is the uh, this one is the MAC lipstick. And this one is the H&M lipstick. I'm going to be keeping this one. Then I have this 
lipstick by H&M and Victoriana. This is one of the matte lipsticks. This one is a bit similar to that amplified shade actually. But this one is a little bit more gray. I don't actually think that I'm gonna wear this one over other purples that I have. So I think I'm gonna throw this one away. It's a little bit more gray than the other one. And this one just is a bit more wearable for my preference, my liking. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. Then I have this lipstick in Fabulous Fuchsia. It's from Catrice, a limited edition. I think I'm gonna be keeping this one for now, but it's actually a little bit too creamy and shiny for me to really like it for this shade. Maybe, maybe it would be better if I would get rid of this. Yes, I changed my mind. I'm gonna get rid of this one. It's just not the perfect formula for this shade, although I really like the shade itself. Then I have this lipstick, the Ultimate Stay lipstick by Catrice once again. This one is in Passion Red. This is as old as the other one. It's a really nice shade actually. It's like this light red. It is a bit toned down, but it's too old. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. So we talked about every lipstick in my collection. I swatched every lipstick in my collection. Let's just go through the maybe pile and then we can end this video. And then I'm gonna count what I got rid of and what I'm keeping. So these were the lipsticks in the maybe pile. I don't feel like I need this one. I have things that are similar to this. So I'm gonna get rid of this one. I think my sister might like this one or maybe she already has it, I don't know. But I think I have enough of this shade that I don't really wear a lot. Then this one, I don't think I'm really gonna be reaching for the, this one. I'd rather buy something similar in a different formula. It was quite nice to have, but nothing special. Then this one, in the shade Rome. Oh yeah, this was, this was the metallic liquid lipstick. I think I'm gonna be keeping it for now, but if I don't use it by my next declutter, I'm probably gonna get rid of it. I think the same goes for this one. I'm just gonna see how I feel about this one and then probably declutter it very soon. These two MAC lipsticks, I think I'm gonna be keeping them for now, but I really have to try them out a little bit more and probably, probably I will declutter them in the future. So those were all my lipsticks. Let me show you real quick. This is everything I declutter all these lipsticks and then all the lipsticks that I kept are over here but they are all scattered across the table so I can't really show you everything together right now but this is everything I decluttered. I'm gonna put what I decluttered and what I kept on the screen right here and that was everything for my declutter. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video then please like and subscribe and I will see you in my next one. Bye bye!